Gold down $40 in the last two days. Silver not faring much better. Why? The Federal Reserve. Who believes the Federal Reserve? Do you believe the Federal Reserve? Do you believe in Santa Claus? What the heck is wrong with the herd? We're going to poke some serious holes into this general belief that the market has, that the Fed even knows what they're talking about, that the Fed is even telling the truth. It's been a frustrating couple of days. I'll be here for you through all these tumultuous times, and it's been kind of crappy the last few days, but we'll make it through. We're going to look long term as opposed to short term and see if the thesis remains in place for higher silver, higher gold prices. I'm glad you're joining me. Let's get started right now. Very quickly, I want to explain to you why I only have one eye. I went to a retina specialist yesterday, and when they were checking my retina, they scratched my cornea, which has resulted in this most horrific experience I've ever had with my eye. I can't really open the eye. I can't see anything out of the eye when I open it. They say it's going to be okay, but I'm telling you, please, wish that you never have a severe corneal abrasion. Now, let's talk about gold and silver. Why do people why do you, why do people believe the Federal Reserve? The market acts like they know what they're talking about when Jerome Powell speaks. I mean, just one example, a year and a half ago, right? Isn't he telling us inflation's transitory? Don't worry about inflation. Inflation's transitory. They were dead wrong on that. There's a plethora of other examples, right? But why now do people hang on every word, every prediction that they put out like they know what they're talking about a year, a year and a half from now? Well, did they know what they were talking about a year and a half ago? Just think about that for a minute. And I don't want to be a complete, total cynic, but have you ever considered that maybe they're not even telling the truth anyway? Like, if they even do know what they're talking about, are they even telling us the truth? To me, it feels like the Fed has become the Wizard of Oz, behind some curtain, pulling strings, pulling levers, sending out his little governors to make speeches, and it's like one day they're hawkish, one day they're dovish. I think they're in big trouble. I'll put it that way. I almost used another word. I think they're getting painted into a corner. I think that the U.S. economy is at the end of a big sugar rush from that crazy amount of money printing they did two or three years ago. I think when you look at the level of things like credit card debt in this country, which is at all-time highs and now being charged very high rates because interest rates are up. I think when you look at the fact that Americans are depleting their savings, I don't, I don't want to be a Scrooge because, you know, Jerome Powell was already that yesterday. He kind of ruined Christmas for all of us. But when I look out into 2023, I could see like next year people saying, boy, last year was like the really good, the la really last good Christmas that we had. People are much, much poorer now. The effects of what's gone on are going to be felt in 2023 in the economy. I don't know what you're seeing out there, but what I'm seeing and I'm reading is that things are really starting to slow down. Car sales are slowing down. Home sales are slowing down. Retail sales are slowing down. So when we look out to 2023, it's not such a rosy picture. And I understand, if you're anything like me, you would like gold and silver to just go up and up and up and up. But we got to realize there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be valleys in the road. And we know we've been through a big valley over the last two years, but gold sniffs out the future. Silver sniffs out the future. They look around the corner. And I'm telling you, when they look out to 2023, I think we're going to see some real consequences in the U.S. economy from what I would call the plundering of our country over the last several decades by our leaders and those powerful elites that run the country. We are headed for some dark 
difficult times. The, the only way, the only thing that they can do, the only thing they know to do is to ease up monetary policy. So while the Wizard of Oz, oh no, I meant Jerome Powell, is spewing all this hawkishness and we're gonna we're not gonna give up till it's all over blah 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 well that's the equivalent of him a year and a half ago saying inflation's only transitory i'm jerome powell i know what i'm talking about things are going to get really interesting in 2023 and no matter how you slice it or dice it six or one half dozen the other I believe it's going to be a very supportive environment for the price of gold and the price of silver. And we're just living in this crazy, bizarro environment. Like, have people forgot that the U.S. government has $30 trillion in debt? That worldwide, there's over $300 trillion of debt? Have you looked at the interest expense of the U.S. government, what it's done over the last two to three years? It's a chart that just goes like this. It's untenable. It can't be kept up. The pieces are eventually going to start to crack and fall apart. What do you think about all this? When I look at the big picture, all the craziness going on right now, I think precious metals, silver, gold, platinum, palladium, even the mining stocks are a good, safe way to protect wealth. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but when I look at all the derivatives, all the insanity, all the just utter duct tape and bubble gum and whatever you want to call it going on out there, I always like to remember at the base of it all, there's a solid foundation and that's God's money. It's been around forever. It's called silver. It's called gold. It's called real assets. And I'd rather be exposed to that right now than some fancy derivative product. Does it feel like to you we're living in a little bit of a bizarro world? Heck, Ergon von Moss, that smart guy that runs Gold Switzerland, he wrote recently just pointing out that we had Zelensky from the Ukraine winning the Time Man of the Year Award. He just said, like, we have warmongers winning the Time Man of the Year Award. Also pointed out that Ben Bernanke, right, the famous money printer, the guy that ran up the U.S. debt, you know, that he won a Nobel Prize. Things are just weird in the big news that comes out. I don't know. It all just seems a little funky and a little shaky to me. We'll see how it all plays out. Just my opinion. Don't make any investment decisions based upon what I shared with you today, but know that I always appreciate when you join me here in Ron's basement. I'll see you next time.